You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. You are the chief priest of this land and the direct voice of the ancestors. I called you because I need an explanation. What is the meaning of the devastating thunderstorm we experienced in this kingdom? Are the gods saying anything to me? You have to calm down, my king, and equally tell your subjects to calm down. There is nothing strange or dangerous about the fearful thunderstorm that tore across our land. But I must tell you that something big is surely coming to us. Wise one, can you be more specific? What exactly are you saying to me? In another land, not so far from ours, a great gift from the gods is arriving. That is why the thunderstorm lacerated our skies to prepare our hair for what is coming. It could be something. It could be someone. But we are about to experience a change. Push, push, Lolo. I know the pain is much, but we are always almost there. One more time, Lolo. Just last time. We are almost there. I'm tired. I can't push again. I can't push again. I'm don't tired. say that, Lolo. Please, don't just close your eyes. We have come so far that quitting is not an option. I am feeling sleepy. You sleep, you let one eyelid bend, you will end up breaking this baby. Remember who you are in Umedele Kingdom. A king's wife is seen as the strongest woman in the kingdom. Please, Lolo, just push. Oh, yeah, just push. try. Push. 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 Oh. Ah. Yes, yes. Ah. Lolo, you are doing good. We are progressing. The baby is coming. The baby is coming. Push. Wise one, I don't understand all of this. First of all, why is it that the gods did not choose this kingdom for the arrival of that great gift? Secondly, why is it that we are suffering the effects of what is happening in another kingdom? Why? Simple. We are interlinked with the other kingdom. The gods did not choose this kingdom for that great arrival. For reasons best known to them, the gods are wise. You don't have to question them. Uh, my, uh, uh, you may go ahead and break the news to the king. Lola has given birth to a baby girl. That is not a problem. A child is a child, irrespective of the sex. I will just inform the king. Hmm? Not too fast, my. There is another dimension to it that you need to see before you will know what you tell the king. What is it by this? What is it? Something strange. The baby came out from the mother's womb with a cowrie on this hand. I've never seen such a thing. What does that mean? I don't know. You have to come and see it yourself.
The kind of rainfall that descended on this earth Wednesday was not ordinary. What do you mean? By the way, do we have different forms of rainfall? That rainfall of yesterday may have damaged something somewhere. It is possible that it may have killed somebody. Why are you scaring me with all these your words? Why? By the way, why are you reading extra meaning into ordinary, ordinary rainfall? You will not understand. Understand what? The only thing I can tell you for now is that the great gift has arrived. We should be rejoicing. <laughs> Okay. And now, I called you here to know if the men in council have taken a decision on the carry that came with the baby. Yes, the men are still making inquiries on it. Uh, and the only thing we have managed to get is that that cowrie is the secret cowrie. And we are not supposed to be discussing it. Yes. Ogebem, Omali Cham, Otom, Ugomam, Odalamichiakam. You're getting me shy. My beauty, you don't need to be shy. It is coming from my heart. You mean the world to me. Usom, same here. You mean the world to me too. I don't know what I would have done without you. You see, I've really missed you. I missed you too. I'm sorry the farming season has kept me busy. You know, you have to make it up to me. Sure, I will. You know. So can we start? <laughs> ah, bam, 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 bam. Stop! Usum, stop! What are you doing? It's an open place. Or do you want us to get caught? So what? I promised to marry, didn't I? That's what you always tell me. And that brings me to this question. When are you coming to see my parents? Uh, uh, Ijem. Ijem. My beauty. You know this is not something I have to do in a hurry. I will come and see your parents as I promised. I'm making preparations already. Two years. And you're still making preparations. That's what you always say. Soon. Soon. Be patient, my love. Yes, I hear you say patient. Ijema, Ijema, please wait. Ijema, wait. Stupid girl. Why marry you when I have you at my disposal? Why would I want to marry a woman as loose as you are? Anyway, since it did not work out for me today, let me go and try your Rema. I am not in the mood for your rubbish. Ijem, why are you like this? You know you're the only woman that has the key to unlock my heart. Why am what? I like how? And how has that become your business? Hmm? Who is the woman that has the key to unlock it? I have warned you. Stay away from me. Leave me alone. I have warned you before to stay away from me. Ijem. You know I love you so much. Why are you like this? Please talk to me. Ijem, I love you with all my heart. <sighs> You're the only woman that can slap me and walk away like this. <laughs> it 
It's okay. I wish you all the best. I love you. Even if there is a storm, everything comes to a standstill once I set eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father, must you always praise me? And if I fail to praise you, my beautiful daughter, who then will I praise? The gods, of course. I praise them every day <laughs> for giving me such an amazing beauty like you are. I couldn't have asked for anything different. <laughs> there he goes again. Have you seen the meat I asked the Dinta to send across to you? Yes, Father. I already instructed one of the maidens to butcher it. I want to use the meat and prepare something very special for you today. Thank you very much. Because the girls didn't just give me a beautiful woman. They only gave me a wonderful cook. Oh, Father. <laughs> Thank you very much. What is it? I have a message for you. It is amazing how the cowrie has grown with you. How you have become such a wonderful bearer of the sacred cowrie of our land. Messenger of the gods. What message this time? You want to venture into a trade, Father. Is that right? Yes, you are right. The gods are very specific this time. Whatever you do, Father, do not take advantage of anyone, else it wouldn't be a success. No one must lose for you to gain, Father. No one. I see. But it is not in my nature to cheat anyone or to take advantage of anyone. I know, Father. But you have to take this very seriously. I don't know why. I don't even know the nature of the trade you want to get yourself involved in. But the gods have spoken. They have made their points. I don't want you to ignore this message, Father. It's very important. Coming from you, messenger of the gods, the bearer of the sacred cowry, then I will be a fool to ignore the message. I've heard what you said. Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Buddy. I beg to be excused. I need to go back to what I was doing. Thank you for coming with the message. I sincerely appreciate it. Her mother was unable to leave to see her grow into a woman. She died when she turned a thin. I am still very marveled how the sacred cowrie has continued to grow with her. I still mourn your mother. But surely, you have become a perfect replacement. I love you, my child. The sacred one. The daughter of the gods. It is very brave of you to have summoned the courage to come to my house to make this request. Nay. I love your daughter so much. I am prepared to do the right thing with her. Oh, oh you've already done the right thing. You've already done the right thing by coming to my house. I wish young men of Omedili will be like you. <laughs> Nay, everyone is unique in his or her own way. Of course, of course. Please. I beg to take my leave. Oh, you want to go? But be rest assured that your visit will not be in vain. I just hope that Ijemma will not throw this opportunity away. We are offering you 50 bags of money, Your what? Highness. 
50 bucks of money. <laughs> Just to let you fish in a river. Exactly. Yes. No, no, no. Wait. Let me get this straight. Hmm? Men of Enugu, Olona. Hmm? You mean you are willing to pay a whooping sum of 50 bags of money? Yes. <laughs> Just for us to allow you to fish in a river. <laughs> Your Highness. Okay. Let me put it this way, Your Highness. All you need to do is to persuade your elder brother, the king, to issue a notice that men of Obunoago should no longer fish in that river. We want to secure the river for our entire business, fishing business, your highness. The entire river. Yes. Exactly, your highness. We are going to feed the fishes with special food that will make them to grow big, not only for our use, but for commercial purposes. Exactly. <laughs> mm, I see. So you are willing to pay 50 bucks of money in return? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> well, my brothers, with 50 bucks of money, Okunagu River, the entire river is all yours. <laughs> we have a deal. <laughs> Um, your Highness, are you saying your brother, the king, will not have a problem with this? <laughs> Leave my brother to me. Go home and relax. I will bring you good news. <laughs> okay, Your Highness. We will take you by your words. As soon as your brother, the king, gives his consent. Can you go to the house? Be rest assured that you will hear from me soon. <laughs> very well then. We shall be on our way. Thank you very much for your hospitality. If only you had accepted to drink some palm wine, then the hospitality would have been complete. <laughs> your Highness, <coughs> you see, we did not accept the palm wine because uh, we are not sure if our mission here is going to be possible. Uh -huh. But now that it is possible, <laughs> Your Highness, be rest assured that next time we come, we shall all feast here. Yes. We'll be feasting here, Your Highness. The deal is a deal. May the gods of our ancestors lead you back to Enugu. He said. Go in peace, my brother. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fishing. Oh, where are you? 50 thunderous bags of money? No. That's a lot of money. <laughs> this cannot wait. Ibeque must hear this. You must be very insane to think that I would subscribe to that nonsense. So Ibeque, are you going to sit and watch 50 bags of money slip out of our fingers just because you want to protect river and some useless fishes? Now let me remind you at home, in case you have forgotten so soon. That river is not only our source of water, it is also our source of livelihood. Our river is one of the largest water bodies in Olunigo. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why men of Enugu Olona will travel all the way from their kingdom to ask for our river? Have you? Now let me warn you, that river is perhaps the greatest gift the gods of this land, Chukokike, has given to these people. And it will be an abomination to stop our people fishing in their own river. I will not even give that river away for 100 bags of money. I will not! Ibekwe, let me ask you. Since you became king, what have you achieved for this kingdom? How dare you ask me such a question? No, Ibekwe! The truth is the same. It's bitter, isn't it? Yes. What have you achieved for this kingdom? Tell me what have you achieved? If you're not busy making unnecessary peace, you are busy giving away the little resources our father left for us to hunt his Lazy villagers. Now that you have been offered a chance to 
to become the richest in this kingdom and beyond. Now you are here talking about you could. You dare call my efforts at bringing peace and tranquility into this kingdom unnecessary? Has it gotten to this, Akum? Has it? Yes, keep it quick. It has gotten to this, and more will come. Now let me warn you for the last time. Go back to the men of Enugolona. Tell them that even if they end up offering their hearts and kidneys on a plate, I will not give my consent. Now get out of my palace before I do something that both of us will regret for the rest of our lives. Get out! Ibekwe, did I hear you say I should get out of the oh, palace? Oh yes, you heard me loud and clear. <laughs> Big brother, in case you have forgotten, this palace was built by our father and not you. So I have equal rights. Get out. I said, get out of this palace this minute. Then if you insist, I will. But I will be back. When the time is right. Fifty bags of money, my foot. I will be back when the time is right. Go and come. And I will be waiting for you with the same answer. Go and come back. Father. My princess, there is nothing to worry about. All is well. It doesn't look that way. I heard voices. Pay no heed to Akum and his temper tantrums. He will come around soon enough. I don't think you saw the look on his face when he stepped out of here. What is he going to do? Kill someone? Certainly not. My daughter, please tell me about your day. How did your day go? You look exceptionally beautiful today. Father, you are changing the topic. I am not changing the topic. Just that it doesn't deserve the attention you're giving to it. Like I told you, there is nothing to worry about. All is well. I am your father. Take me by my words. Now let's discuss more face lifting matters. I personally don't like it when you frown. And you should know that the princess of this kingdom has no reason, no excuse whatsoever to be frowning. Father, I still cannot help but worry about it. You don't have to, my daughter. All is well. I am not going to marry him. And I mean it. You will not marry him. I don't want to marry him. I won't allow you to marry him. I'm not going to marry him. What are you saying? You mean you will allow that fine, handsome man slip through your fingers? Is he the only young man in this village? Why are you so fixated on him? I don't want to marry him. He's married by force. Marriage is not by force. True. But have you told me you don't want to get married? Did you tell me you don't want to get married, Ijeman? I never said that. There was never a time I said that, Papa. I did not say I don't want to get married. But you see this young man in particular, I do not love. I will not marry. And my answer is no. He and to man, no. He he man. A word is enough for the wise. I will not marry him. Man. I don't understand this. I don't understand why parents we always want to interfere in their children's marriages. We are the ones getting married, aren't we? Yet they end up putting themselves at the center of it all. It's not fair. The man has practically taken upon himself to make my personal life his own personal business. I don't get it. We are the ones that will live with this man. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so why impose on us the man to marry? I think it's about time we spoke up against this madness. Enough is enough. Spoke up against? Yes. How? 
No. Are you suggesting we start up an open protest against our parents? No. Very far from that. In fact, I have a better option. My friend, whatever option it is you have, so long as it will work, I am all in for it. Because as I speak to you, I am more frustrated than the word frustration itself. Now that I think of it, we've always had power at our disposal, but we never thought of exercising it. Power at our disposal? Yes. I don't understand. Can you be clearer? Fine. The princess of Umedili Kingdom is our best friend. Isn't she? Yes. She's our best friend. Oh! Now you're beginning to see things from my own point of view. I think it's about time we paid her a visit. Hmm. You're very correct. Completely. I agree with you. It's too much. That's by the way. I have a guy in the kitchen. Spiced just the way you like it. Hey. Hey mama. Mm. You know just how to cheer me up. Darling. What are friends for? Oi. We'll be right back. They say problem shared is half solved. Thank the gods I came to her. Men of Enugolona. Your Highness. Your Highness. I sent for you because I have news for you. Good news, I hope. Well, good and bad. Well, Your Highness, let's, let us hear the good news first. Exactly. Okay. The good news is that my brother has finally accepted your request. <laughs> oh, Google! <laughs> Fish him! The bad news is that he said 50 bags of money is not enough for a kingdom to give away a river. So he is now requesting for 100 bags of money. Gosh, of ancestors. Your Highness. Ah. Your Highness. Did I, did, did, did I just hear you right? 100 bags of what? 100 bags of money. But then again, if I may ask, I would say you think about it. Because 100 bags of money is nothing to compare with what you stand to gain from Opunago River. Your Highness, but that is a lot of money. Your Highness, it will cost our kingdom. It will cost our kingdom an arm to provide. You should be rejoicing that he finally agreed on 100 bags of money. Initially, he was insisting on 200 bags of money, but I had to plead and plead again. Well, uh, uh, your, your Highness, I, I must tell you, I'm speechless. Yes, I am speechless. Well, Your Highness, I have to thank you for your effort. The most important thing that he has agreed. Your Highness, we have to be on our way now, as you already know that our journey is far. But uh, nevertheless, you will hear from us. I shall be expecting your message. Hmm. The sooner the better, before you change this season. Once again, thank you very much. You have our word on that, Your Highness. May the gods be with you as you go. We say... We say... Please, my princess, you have to help us. Before we lose it, my princess, please. You believe I have the power? Yes. How do you mean? Your father is the king. All we're asking is that you get him to make a decree that prevents parents from interfering with their children's marriages, at least to a certain degree. Exactly, my princess. We are speaking from experience. 
In fact, from my own point of view, parents shouldn't be imposing spouses on their daughters. We ladies must be allowed to make our own choices. Yes. On a very serious note, this has become a big issue in our land. A serious one. Especially for us, the maidens. The fastest way to kill a maiden is by forcing her into marrying a man she does not love. My princess, you're a maiden like us. If you can get your father to make this declaration, you will also benefit from it. Is something wrong? Not at all. Chukwu Kike has made everything beautiful for us. Just that most times, we focus on the wrong things instead of the right ones. You're speaking of Jesus. Can you at least make things clear to us? Do not worry, Ijema. For in due time, the gods will make everything clear to you. Me. Yes. You. I am lost. I do not understand. All I have to say is that a maiden's father is like a deity to her and must be allowed to have that deity figure over his child. For what he sees seated, you will not be able to see it even if someone shows it to you. Are you saying you're not going to grant our request? Listen, you might be exempted from all this because of your status in the society. But we the commoners are going through moments of agony. Please. Get your father to make this declaration. Even if you do not support it, for our sakes, do it. That will not be necessary, Ijema. For in truth, parents must be allowed to parent their children. The gods are very specific this time. Whatever you do, Father, do not take advantage of anyone. Else, it wouldn't be a success. No one must lose for you to gain, Father. No one. Well, Elders, you will do me one favor. You will go back to Obunagun and let them understand that I am not interested in the entire river. In fact, it is inconceivable for anybody to even think a thing like that. <laughs>